Hi everyone and welcome back to Toe of the Week. Excited to share the toes that match this set of nails. Stay tuned. to see you and great to be back in doing another toe of the week design and I love the way they turned out just as beautiful as this set of nails. Let's check them out. Aren't those just gorgeous? They're so beautiful and just I don't know, they've got some sass to them. I love them. I just think they're so pretty and just with the glitz and the big stones on there, I did the same with the baby toe, just of course the stone had to be a little smaller, but I just love them. And then with the Northern Lights, the glitz, the flowers, everything, they're just so beautiful and glamorous. I love them. Absolutely love the way they turned out. So, but before we go on anymore with that, we're gonna go ahead and read our prayers and promises. And this one is on strength. We're going to read, uh, the first one is Psalms 46.1. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Like I always tell you, how many times does it say in the Bible that God is there to help you, that we don't have to fear anything when you walk with Christ, and he is our strength. Then you got 2 Thessalonians 3.3. 3. The Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. And he definitely will. God will guard you from the evil, you know, and if there is anything in your path, you can rebuke the devil. You know, God is there to save you. And he just says it so many times in the Bible, how many times he's going to protect you. We don't have to fear anything. That's why he doesn't like us to fear because there's nothing to fear, right? Like I always say, if you're a Christian, what do we have to fear? The last one is Isaiah 41.10. This is a great one. I love this one. Don't be afraid for I am with you. Don't be discouraged for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you and I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Isn't that a beautiful you know, Bible verse? I love it. I just love, I can't express enough how many times he says he will strengthen you, help you, hold you, be with you, strengthen you, you know, help you to fear not so many times in the Bible. The other side says, just as you gave, just as you gave David strength to conquer Goliath, please give me the strength to stand up against anything that defies you. Yeah, it defies you. There are a lot of evil forces that I am not strong enough to defeat, but you are. There is nothing that can stand up against you, and you have put your strength in me. When I feel weak and insufficient, you take me by the hand and lead me into victory. I will not be discouraged because I know you are faithful. And God surely is faithful. He definitely will help you. He will walk you through victory. Just continue to lean on God. Don't turn away from him. Continue to lean on him, and he will give you that strength. Even if you feel weak and you pray, he's going to give you that strength. God will definitely give it to you. What is Philippians 4.13? I can do all all things through Christ who strengthens me. And it is true. We can. And the bottom says, what makes you feel strong? God. If it wasn't for God, I would be a very weak person. If I wasn't walking with God, I would be very, very weak. I am dressed up today because I just got back from church. So yeah, that's why I am wearing this beautiful outfit. And it looks like it's an outfit of the day matches the nails. But I always do that. I always try to match the nails. Um, prior to doing the outfit of the day, I try to match the nails for church because I get the nails done, you know, beforehand. I'm always doing my pre-recorded videos. But yeah, I just got back from church. So that's the outfit I'm wearing. Love the way it turned out. I've wore this in a uh, outfit of the day. So you guys already got to see it and the jewelry. But anyways, start your day, go through your day and end your day with the Holy Bible, Life's Manual. Nothing will teach you more than this book will. It'll help you. Just like when I shared that uh, sermon on Sunday and I've got more to come on that Revelations walk with him. Times are getting near. Jesus is going to return very soon. Uh, we don't know the time or the hour, but everything is coming to pass that was said in the Bible that would happen. It's all coming to pass. Pass. So make sure you spend quality time with him. Open scriptures. Share the good word with everybody. Spend your time with God. Spend time alone with God. Pray to him. Seek him out. Let him know that you are a Christian and that you love him and that you're so ready for him to take you home because we don't want to be left behind, you guys. Wait till next week's sermon. I just, 
yeah, I got a lot to say. And then the third one is even worse. Like what happens if you get left behind? So, but anyways, guys, lean on our good Lord here and read his manual. He didn't give it to us what? To collect dust. He gave it to us to read because it is our manual and helps us get through life. So, but anyways, this toe design, I'm super excited about it. I love the way it turned out. It's so pretty. The colors are so beautiful, and I just love, you know, um, I'm not really a purple girl, but I do like these shades. I like blue, but I love the purple. I think it turned out beautiful, and like I said, I like the spiciness to it, just having all that bling and everything to it. I think they're gorgeous. Can't wait to share the Fashion Friday outfit with you guys. Thank you for all the beautiful comments you guys say that I go to such amazing places and all of that. I thank you for that. That's thanks to my husband. He takes me to wonderful places that match the look that I'm doing. So, but thank you guys so much for all your beautiful comments. If you are new to my channel, right there is the red subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel. Underneath that is the notification bell. Hit that and you'll be notified of all my new uploads. Share around my channel so I can grow and help people with the ketogenic in their faith and their walk with God, with fashion and everything because I have a multi-channel. And if you loved this video, this toe design, love the verses I read, love the strength that God gives us, and just love watching my videos, shoot me a thumbs up. Now, remember, after I get done with the outtake of the toe design before the photos, I'll be showing three more of my shoe collection. The third pair, as always, will be what I'm wearing in this Fashion Friday to match these nails and those beautiful toes I showed you. Let's get started on them so you guys can see them and learn how to do them. I love you all very much. God bless. Take care, and I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Hi everyone! So, here's what I chose to go with for this week's summer toe design. Matching the nails I did on Monday. Those beautiful magenta done in a light magenta and then dark accent magenta toes with giant crystals and then flowers, smaller crystals, and northern lights. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to Toe of the Week. Getting ready to do another beautiful summer toe design that will match with the nails I did on Monday. Those beautiful flower sassy nails that I did with the accent nail and that big crystal in the center on the accent nail. And then the smaller crystals in those beautiful flowers that I did. Those kind of tropical like flowers with the green leaves and then I went over it with the northern lights. Now we're going to do it on the toes. And of course the toes are always a little bit different but it always matches. And then, of course, we end it with Friday's fashion to put the whole ensemble together. We match nails and toes with an outfit of the day, if you're new to my channel. All right, so let me go over and show you the supplies. All right, for the two polishes, I have one accent, like I did on my nails. Sorry, I dropped the polish. Um, it was this one here by the Kiss Gel from Dollar Tree, and it's called Feminine. It's a beautiful magenta, kind of uh, burgundy, uh, purplish color. And then we've got this one here by the LA Colors Mermaid Magic I got from Walmart, and it's called Pink Pearl. And it is not pink, you guys. It is definitely a purple color. I don't know why they're calling it pink, but it is definitely a magenta purple. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then I am doing um, uh, acrylic paints, and I've made it here. I had to make this one with a dark, or not dark, but I'll show you, the cobalt hue. And then I added in a bright red, and it made it a purple, and then I added in the Diva Pink. This one I made a little bit different than I did it on Monday's video. I realized that that's all I really needed to get pretty much the same color. There was the color, but it's after it dries, that is the color it's going to be. So I didn't need to add, um, I added white, I think, last time. Because I was really just trying to find the color. So I had to figure out colors by mixing. But then I realized that just blue, purple, and that Diva Pink made the perfect magenta and it's real close to this color and that's what I needed for the flowers and then I've got some white here and green I'm going to mix those together to do the leaves because then it won't be so um, transparent you have to always add in white with uh, neons because otherwise it's too transparent it'll make it more opaque and then I've just got some plain white over here to do the white flowers I'll be working with Robin Moses's brush and it's her uh the wand here that's what I'll do the flowers with it's Robin Moses nailart.com is how you order it there's the end of the brush. She has a striper and a liner. Uh, this is her liner, and the striper is the unicorn. They're $10 a piece or $18 for two, and the shipping is beautiful. And then um, I will be adding in a crystal. Also on this toe, I'll be using this much smaller one here. 
it's pretty much almost the same shape. This is a teardrop or pear shape, I would call, and this is an oval, but on the baby toe, you won't be able to tell, but it's the same iridescent. So that will go on the baby toe here. It had to be small. Got those from uh, a friend of mine named Sh uh, Shannon Sharon Buchanan. And then um, I will glue that down with the ASP glue that I get from Sally's. And I'll use an orange wood stick and just set the stone on and then push it down. And then I'll dry everything up with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. But before that, I'm going to use this top coat, the Northern Lights. You have to shake this up. It says right in the bottle. Each time you got to shake it to get all that beautiful glitter to come through. And it is a micro glitter and um, just beautiful to go over any design. You won't cover it up, but you got to shake it up really good each time. It is a top coat, but I still like to top coat to make it even more shiny. So then I'll top it off with that. So I think that's everything. Oh forgot to show you and then the tiny little stones that'll go in the flowers the iridescent tiny little a b crystals there they'll go into the center of the flowers all right so i'm gonna get one side done and i'll come back and show you guys okay so i've got the start of the white flowers on the big toe i'm gonna show you how i'm doing that and they're kind of like my leaf flowers that i do i'm just dipping into the white and we'll um we'll start up in this corner just so it kind of does opposite of the other one so we're just going to set the brush down and hopefully you can see this. I'll actually start at the bottom here and you just go to one side to the other side and then give it a little pull at the end to do your first little petal and then keep doing it like that. Go to the other side now and do another petal. And remember this is a painting so they don't have to be perfect and we're going to do five petals. Some were five, some were six on my fingers, but I'm doing five on the toes. Whoops. Okay, I just messed up, which is nice because I can just wipe it off and start over because I messed up that little dot and if I couldn't remove it because it was in the way. So again, we'll just go to one side, go to the other and pull and go to one side to the other and pull and again, another petal and we'll get a couple down in here. When it gets a little closer to the skin, don't worry. It doesn't have to be a perfect flower. You want it, like I said, to be a painting. I'm trying to stay out of your way here. And then just make a shorter one over here and bring your point to the side like, like that. And then we'll do one down in here. Again, go to one side and to the other and then just bring your little point up and do another one next to it. Keep going till you get five petals. And when it gets closer to the skin, again, just kind of, you know, bring your petal just to the side then. And we'll do another smaller one in here. And then one right in here. One side to the other, and then pull it out. There you go. And I'm actually gonna fix this one just so it's a little bit closer that way so it matches. There you go, isn't that pretty, you guys? And if you think you, you made one just a little bit longer, then just Pull some of the other ones out a little bit farther so it matches like that. And I'll fix this a little bit more. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect. You don't actually want them perfect. You want them to look like a painting. But if you get that point, it makes it a little bit better like that. So there is the beautiful white flowers to start with. And of course, we're putting in that burgundy in the centers of it and adding green leaves around. So I am going to get the center color going and some of the green leaves and then I will return. Okay, now you see how pretty that is with that burgundy and then the green leaves around it. I'll draw and so you can see. It just makes the flower so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? So we're gonna go ahead and start with that. Um, the flowers first, we'll add in that burgundy color that I made or dark magenta. I'm just gonna clean my brush off here and go ahead and dip into the burgundy here that I've made, or magenta, I keep calling it burgundy, but it's more of a magenta. And dip in, and you don't want a lot of paint on your brush, so wipe some of it off. I'm wiping it off right here, because you kinda wanna do this like a dry brush. So go into the centers of the flowers and just do some lines like this, just you know, kind of uh, just dry brushing through, just very lightly just going through about a third of the way up from your white flower and just bringing it to the center, okay? And just go like that. And like I said, if it's too much paint, then wipe some off, but it's okay if some is darker, some is lighter, that's okay. Just try to basically do a dry brush look. So you're just getting just a little bit in there. 
um, in like brush strokes just so you get that that look of a painting. So there's that. Now we're gonna add in the green leaves. I'm just cleaning off my brush quick. So we can go into the next color here. Now we're gonna dip into the green and the green I did add white to it. So now it is more opaque. And you just need a little bit and you could put these leaves anywhere you feel fit. So, and they're gonna be the same as the flower. So you're just gonna set it down, go to one side and go to the other, make these skinny leaves. That's how I did it on my fingers and it was so pretty. So one side to the other side and then just give it a little pull. And then we'll do another one over in here. Hopefully you got to see that. Hopefully I'm not in your way here. I'm trying not to be in your way, but it seems like I'm getting in the way of the light, my ring light. Okay, and then I'll put one on this side. Give it a pull and we'll do one down in here. And it's okay if one's a little bigger, just as long as you get the look of those flowers with leaves. Aren't they both so pretty? Love that look so much, so gorgeous. And just, I don't know, it's kind of sassy to me and just pretty. I don't know, it reminds me of uh, just, you know, like I was saying, kind of uh, kind of tropical-like or like the salsa dancers. Like just, I don't know, it's just sassy with the flowers the way I did them. I just love it. Okay, so now we're going to let this dry up. We're going to go ahead and get the stone glued down on these ones. And then we're going to go ahead and start working on the northern lights. I'll get a stone done and I will return. Oh, and the stones inside of the flowers. Okay. Now I have got the crystals, and I'll draw in and show you. I've got the crystals in the middle of the big toe there, in the middle of those flowers. And then, of course, that beautiful stone on the burgundy one to match my other nails. Isn't that pretty? Now I'm going to leave the rest of them just plain and do Northern Lights. The other nails, of course, I did flowers on every one, but I'm going to leave these just plain. I think it's really pretty. I always do it a little bit different, like I said. But we're all drawn in here, so let's go ahead and get these inserts in good and show you how I'm doing this. I got some glue on a cap here. I'm just gonna dip with my orange wood stick. Whoops, just dip, whoops, show you that, dip, and get some glue, and then we're just gonna put a dot in the center of that, and a dot in the center of that one, and we'll start with the small little uh, flowers. Make sure I got enough glue there. Okay, all right, and then let's get those small little flowers flowers, rhinestones, I mean. I'm just going to use the end of the orange wood stick and pick them up and just put three in the center of each flower because these are really tiny stones. I love these. They're just perfect for working and doing all kinds of gems and having fun. I'm trying to get this one to release into the glue. Come on, let go. <laughs> I don't know why this one won't let go. I'll get a different one. I can't have them turned because if they get turned, then they fog. And of course, if I wasn't on uh, film here, I could do this so much quicker. The other foot turned out so much quicker. So set that down into the glue there. There we go. And then give them a little push. And then go ahead and get three more for the other toe. One. I'm trying not to get in your guys' way here. Two. Three. Again, the third one never wants to let go. <laughs> I don't know if it's because the glue isn't in that spot where it's trying to glue or what's going on. There we go. And then give them a push and just kind of push it around till you get them centered right in the center of the flower and then just give them a little push. Can play around for a little bit the glue will stay wet for a little bit but usually you got to work pretty fast okay now we're gonna dip into the glue again and we're gonna get some glue right here enough glue for that uh, bigger stone there wipe off your end and I got to use a q-tip for this one because this stone is a little bit bigger um, for picking it up but too small for me to use my hands like I used in the video Uh oh Where'd it go? <laughs> Let me find the stone. I'll return. Okay, sorry guys. I had lost the stone and I only had one of those. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope I find it. 
because it fell off the Q-tip when I was coming across with it. Don't ever do that. Don't come across with your stones. Make sure they're right next to you. I have it now sitting right next to you. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more glue just in case it dried up. And I'm using a Q-tip. Like I said, when I did the nail one, it was big enough for me just to pick it up with my fingers. But this one, I can't pick it up with my fingers with the gloves on. And it's too, uh, too, you know, too small for that. And of course, I lost it again here. <laughs> I didn't lose it. I see it. Sorry, guys. You get to see the real troubles when you're doing a video. <laughs> All right, try again. When I did the other one, it went... I just keep dropping it. That is so funny. When I did it off film, it glued perfectly on the last one. That's hilarious. Okay. Try again. Try, try, try again. Don't fall this time. There we go. And then, of course, straighten it out. That's funny. You guys get to see the real troubles of making videos. Sometimes we have to, you know stop and redo but this video I couldn't because I had already done you know already had the flowers going with the stones and I was doing this at the same time and of course because the glue is wet it's going to take a little bit just to line it up perfectly and then give it a good push into the glue there so it glues like that and make sure it's straight there we go <laughs> it's real you guys YouTube is not as easy as you guys think it is and we do lots of retakes, lots of bloopers. You just don't get to see them. All right, so we got that done. Now I'm going to go over this with the Northern Lights. I'm gonna shake it up, go over it, but I will leave this one open for you guys and this one just so I can show you how you go over stones for the newcomers. I'll be right back. Okay, now I've got that beautiful Northern Lights and you probably can't even see it, so I'm gonna draw in. That's how micro and beautiful it is. You can definitely see it. And, you know, like if it's dark, you usually don't see it. But when the light hits it, it's just absolutely stunning and gorgeous. So you see I got one done and one not done. And you see it on that crystal toe, too. And on the baby toes. You want to shake it up really good, you guys, so that you see all that luscious glitter. And then we're going to show you how to do it over stones. Now, you want to glide over your design. Make sure your design is dry, but you glide over the top of it so that you don't mess up your design and get a nice amount and just start going right over your design, gliding right over the, the top, over your stones and everything, pulling out any air bubbles or whatnot. Um, but just make sure, you know, if you need a little bit more, go into your glitter again. I just love this glitter because it's such a micro glitter that it doesn't cover designs, but it is so pretty and it's called Northern Lights. And you can get it from Sally's or you can get it from um, online. And they sell it, this is the silver version, they also sell a gold version. I don't find the gold version at Sally's. Now go over your big stone too. Start with the stone and then just start going around your polished job. But you see, you can even cover up your stone, go up under it, around it, and capping the end. Don't worry if you get any on your skin, you can wipe that off, it comes off in a bath. But just go right over your stone too because you want that to have some more glisten to it too with that sparkle like I did on the nails. Just like that, but yeah, they have a gold version too. This is a silver version, um, but the gold one, I don't see it at Sally's, I see it online. So you can order this online as well. I think it's Amazon, um, you can order it. But it's such a beautiful glitter, can go with so many designs because it doesn't cover your design. I just love the sparkle to it. So now I am going to let this dry, dry it up with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. I will come back to show all of you guys the end product. Alrighty, everyone, I am all done with these beautiful toes. Aren't they gorgeous and just sassy? I just love them. I'll draw in a little bit more for you guys. I love the Northern Lights. Look at how great it matches the set of nails I did on Monday. I just love the shade of them. I love the Northern Lights. I love the accent toes with the bigger stones. And then, of course, the small AB crystals in those gorgeous flowers. I don't know, it gives me a tropical feel, a sassy feel, just a cha-cha feel. Absolutely love them, and I hope you guys do as well. Definitely give this set of toes a try. And wait for after this video, I'll be showing three more pairs of my shoe collection. The third pair will be what I'm wearing with this set of toes and nails for my Fashion Friday. Hope all of you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe. God bless, and I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload.